AI giants just got embarrassed. Two lean models just landed and proved that raw size no longer rules. Real progress now comes from smarter training, tighter planning, and hardware that actually keeps up. One comes from MBZ UAI, the other from Baidu. Both are compact, both run fast, both are open. Together, they flip the script on what frontier level really means, so let's talk about it. Starting with Baidu. Their new model is called Erne 4.5 21BA3B Thinking, and yeah, the name's pretty long and complicated, so to keep it simple, we'll just call it A3B but the idea behind it is actually straightforward. It's a mixture of experts model. That means in total, it has 21 billion parameters, but only 3 billion are active for each token. The router decides which experts get activated, so you don't have to light up the entire network every time. That's how they keep compute costs low, while still giving you the benefits of specialization. And to make sure those experts don't all collapse into doing the same thing, they added some extra training tricks like router orthogonalization loss and token balanced loss. The end result is diversity in activation and smoother training. Now, why 3 billion active parameters per token? Baidu's team is arguing that this number might be the sweet spot. It's enough to handle serious reasoning without making the system so huge that it's impossible to train or deploy. And because they released it under Apache 2.0, anybody can grab it from Hugging Face, whether it's for research or even a commercial product. That kind of openness matters a lot, especially when most reasoning-focused models right now are closed or API only. So one of the biggest features here is the context window. A3B can handle 128,000 tokens, which is pretty decent. And the way they pulled this off is actually very clever. They progressively scaled rotary position embeddings from 10,000 up to 500,000 during training. Pair that with flash mask attention and memory efficient scheduling, and suddenly long context training doesn't kill your hardware. This isn't a patchwork solution either. It's directly trained into the model. Training itself followed a pretty structured recipe. Stage one was text only pre-training, starting small at 8,000 tokens, gradually going up to 128,000. They skipped the vision and multimodal parts here since this model is text only. Then came supervised fine tuning on math, logic, coding, and science. After that, progressive reinforcement learning, first logic, then math and programming, then broader reasoning tasks. And here's something interesting. They used unified preference optimization, which blends preference learning with PPO that helps avoid reward hacking and makes alignment more stable. Basically, it's a training pipeline laser focused on making the model reason better. Another piece that stands out is tool use. This model has built in structured function calling. So it's not just generating text, it can call external APIs or other tools while reasoning. That's a huge deal for things like program synthesis or symbolic reasoning. It also integrates with VLLM, Transformers version 4.54 and up, and fast deploy. If you're building multi-agent workflows or enterprise systems that need both long context reasoning and external tool use, this capability makes A3B a very practical option. Performance-wise, it looks great. It's strong across logical reasoning, math, scientific question answering, and programming. It shows stable accuracy on long chain of thought benchmarks, competitive results against much larger dense models, and reliable academic synthesis outputs. So Baidu is making the case that with a sparse mixture of experts design, extended context windows, and a careful training pipeline, you can get frontier level reasoning without going into trillion parameter territory. Compared to OpenAI's O3, Anthropic's Claude 4, DeepSeek's R1 or Quinn 3, Baidu's approach is different, it's efficient, long context ready, and most importantly, open under a permissive license. Now, here's the part most people overlook, how this actually ties back to you. All right, so while everyone else is busy just watching AI videos, you can already be using AI to build automated income streams that make money while you sleep. 
The Faceless Empire just went live. It's the complete system for creating YouTube channels that generate $3,000 to $5,000 monthly without ever showing your face on camera or recording your own voice. AI writes the scripts, AI creates the voiceovers, you just upload and collect the checks. It's the same system that helped me generate over $42,000 last month. You get nine comprehensive modules, done for you AI prompts, 20 proven profitable niches, step-by-step -step video tutorials, 60 day money back guarantee. This is three years of testing and perfecting handed to you on a silver platter for way less than a new iPhone. But remember, only 200 founding member spots. Once they're filled, enrollment closes and won't reopen at this price. Click that link in the description right now. Don't stand on the sidelines while others build automated AI income with this. All right, now let's look at K2Think from MBZU AI and G42. If Baidu went sparse, MBZU AI went dense. K2Think starts with a 32 billion parameter backbone, Quinn 2.5 32B, and then layers on a heavy post-training pipeline plus an inference scaffold. What they're proving is that you can take a manageable base model and with the right recipe, get results that rival much larger systems. The training pipeline for K2Think has six big pieces that all work together. So let's break it down in plain language. The first part is called long chain of thought supervised fine tuning. But what it really means is they fed the model tons of examples where people solved problems step by step. Math problems, code, science questions, even general chat. The idea is to teach the model not just to spit out final answers, but to actually show its reasoning. And the gains showed up quickly. After only about half a round of training, accuracy on tough math tasks climbed sharply, showing that the model was learning structured reasoning earlier than expected. And that was before they even added reinforcement learning. For a model of this size, that's already really impressive. Then they took it to the next stage, reinforcement learning. But instead of using just human preferences, they introduced something completely new, verifiable rewards. They built a data set called Guru with about 92,000 prompts covering six areas, math, code, science, logic, simulation, and tabular data. The key difference here is that the model isn't just rewarded for sounding good, it's rewarded for answers that can actually be checked as right or wrong. That makes the learning signal much more reliable and reduces the chance of the model cheating the system, which is what reward hacking usually looks like. They also found something really interesting. If you start this reinforcement learning process from a model that's already been fine-tuned too much, the gains flatten out. But if you start earlier, closer to the base model, the improvements are massive. This showed that there's a balance. You want enough fine tuning to give the model structure, but not so much that you leave no room for reinforcement learning to actually make it better. Now here's the part that makes K2Think feel more agent-like. At inference time, that's when it's actually answering questions. It doesn't just dive straight into the solution. Instead, it first writes a short plan, kind of like an outline, and then it generates the full answer based on that plan. After that, it produces a few different possible answers, say three, and runs them through verifiers to figure out which one is the most likely to be correct. The outcome is not just better accuracy, but also shorter, cleaner answers. And that's unusual, because usually when you add more steps, you end up with longer outputs. At inference, K2Think shows a rare combination of accuracy, efficiency, and raw speed. On AIME24, it scored 90.83 with responses 6.7% shorter. On AIM25, it reached 81.24 while trimming 3.9%. On HMMT25, the score was 73.75 with a 7.2% cut. And on OmniHard, one of the toughest math benchmarks, it landed at 60.73 while shrinking answers by 11.7%. That combination of high accuracy and leaner outputs is rare, since most models get wordier as tasks get harder. And compared to other systems, its answers are actually shorter than Quen 3, 235B, A22B, and in the same range as GPT OSS 120B which makes these efficiency gains even more impressive. The pattern holds outside of math too. On Live Code Bench V5, a major coding benchmark, K2Think scored 63.97 ahead of Quen 3, 235 BA22B at 56.64, 
while also cutting response length by 10.5%. On SciCode, it posted 39.2 on subproblems and 12.0 on main tasks, showing that its coding ability extends beyond a single data set. For science reasoning, it reached 71.08 on GPQA Diamond and 9.95 on HLE, again proving it's not just a math specialist, but competitive across knowledge-heavy areas as well. And it doesn't just perform well, it's safe and robust. The Macro Safety 4 score comes in at 0.75, with Refusal at 0.83, Conversational Robustness at 0.89, Jailbreak Resistance at 0.72, and Cybersecurity at 0.56. So while math and reasoning are its highlights, MBZUAI's team clearly put thought into balancing raw capability with guardrails. All of this is backed up by raw speed with speculative decoding predicting multiple tokens at once and Cerebrus wafer scale engine hardware handling inference, K2Think pushes out around 2,000 tokens per second. That's production level throughput, not just research speed. And it brings their small but fast philosophy to life. When you add it all up, the picture is clear. K2Think delivers frontier level reasoning across math, coding, and science, runs faster and leaner than most, and does it while staying safer than you'd expect. And the real kicker is that it achieves all this while competing with models like DeepSeq V3.1 at 671B parameters and GPT OSS 120B, despite being just 32B. That kind of parameter efficiency is what makes this system stand out. And just like Baidu, MBZ UAI made this open, but they went all the way. Weights, training data, deployment code, test time, optimization code, full transparency. That's rare, especially for a model performing this well. For researchers, it's huge. You can reproduce results, test new ideas, and extend the system. For enterprises, it's another strong open option instead of depending on closed proprietary APIs. Before I go, just remember, Faceless Empire is up and running, but only for the first 200 people. Hit the link in the description and secure your spot. So what do you think? Are Baidu and MBZU AI showing us the real future of reasoning AI, or are we still stuck chasing the wrong ideas? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to hit subscribe and like if you found this interesting. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.